Hello and welcome to Coffee Talk. I am not really sure. Let me type my name in. Um, now. There we go. It's Melvin. Yes, it is. Unfortunately, an unfortunate name. I just turn this down a little bit. There we go. Back and we're back. Um, I was saying I don't really know a lot about this game. Like, if there's an actual story going on, I think it's just talking to people in your coffee shop, basically. Uh, I watched a little bit of this, but not a lot, so bear with me. I'm this stuff is all new to me. Toge Productions. Seattle, 2020. A city filled with dreams and mad madness. A time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. Oh, that's right. There's different races in this. I don't know. I think I saw like a demon or something. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. A little bit of credits here and... Yeah, there's like a ogre or something there in the background and looks like an elf and some kind of demon over to the right. I don't know what this guy in the front is. Are they moving? No, they're just moving up and down. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. When the, so, am I an elf? When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. Automotive? When the orcs have put down, so that is an orc, put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them, as driven as ever, is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Kind of neat. Good art, whoever that was. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They're told over drinks and then take up resi residence in some stranger's memories. Programming. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. A rainy day. Perfect, no, day, not day, night, actually. Um, this coffee shop is open at nighttime. The perfect time for coffee. Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Customer? Yes. Um, well, welcome. Oh, it's you. Unfortunately, yes, it's me, Freya. Hey, Smelvin, how's the night? So oh, hey, Smelvin, how's the night so far? It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Uh, what happened? My supplier made a logistical errors. Made some logistical errors. I don't have half my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve the. I, I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me s set things up first. You're our first customer after all. What time is it? If it's like, I mean, how long have we been open? First customer. Could have been all night. I don't know. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So I'm used to taking things slow. Eh, writer's block again. You got that right. What are you writing now? Ugh, my voice. Do you remember I planned to... Ow. 
That beeping was kind of loud. Drown your troubles in coffee. Ah. Pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. Triple shot espresso. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. Check my phone. How do I... There's my phone. Um... Stories? Toma da Chill? This is... Just her profile. Writer for the evening whispers talks about mundane things. <laughs> Great. I can't wait to hear all about these mundane things. Art and life in general. Friends only. Friends only what? There's Jory and Gala. How do I go back? Brew pad, that's gotta be it, right? Um, triple shot. What does she want? Triple shot espresso. There we go. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Okay. Got it. It's, a, but she wants a triple shot, so then... Whoops. I don't want to do that. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Brew. So is this, is this just espresso? Like, no matter what, it's triple coffee? Um, why would I want to trash him? One cup of triple hot shot express special for my only customer tonight. Hmm, that aroma. Ah, exactly what I need. Anyway, where were we? You plan to do something? Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know. I like that your character is, like, undefined. So it could be could be you basically like the little characters in RPGs that don't talk uh, although I'm talking but um, I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> it's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper you know oh, I said that but... but it seems like the right time for something bigger so a novel yes it sounded so simple when I was making the plan at least you still have your job. And so, in case things go awry. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Did I say something wrong? No. You were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? Crazy. You know who owns the Evening Whisper? GRA Media, right? Yes. And they are also the biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean, opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally, I pitched my book idea. Naturally. Um, uncomfortable silence. Big uncomfortable silence. What is going on? Please talk. Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah. Oh wait, did I... I said the line in the other voice by mistake. Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So how did you... How did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories. So he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings and get some... Fiction Publishing Division to sign me up for a publishing deal. Alright. Publishing deal. That sounds great. What are your job at the evening? What's, what about your job? Do you have some time, time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on a novel during office hours. And I'm fail falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. If the chief finds out, he'll, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Um. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Err. Uh, 
<laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero? Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know? May I see it? Um, well, you got nothing, right? It was so bad that, well, after reading it, I decided to delete everything immediately. So, zero? Huh. Yes. I really need to finish. I really need to finish it in at most two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. Coffee is a good inspiration builder. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be a service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Um, I like the sound effects there. Pretty neat. Welcome. God, I gotta do a voice here. Hi there. That's not a good voice. Hi there. Hello. Hello. Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. Yes, please. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I'm not really sure about the order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. I'm not planning to wake up all night, be awake all night. So definitely no coffee. But well, this is a coffee shop. What are you doing here? How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with ch anything with chocolate in it, please. How about chocolate? Chocolate. Chocolates. Let me check. Um dark chocolate chocolate suck chocolate. I was right. Uh where's chocolate? Cocoa powder? What is this? Green tea. Chocolate chocolate chocolate. It's nice that you get a little bit of actions to to actually do I'll serve it. Something, some little thing to do other than just clicking on the screen and reading. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. So warm. So you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. Three customers? Oh, her boyfriend. I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only coffee that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that still opens past midnight. It's mostly empty. Great business model. Now that you mention it, it's good for business having coffee shops stay up all night. Definitely not. Yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. There's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. Especially in the rain, right? That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but can you survive running a coffee shop like this? That's a secret. The smell of it here is damn rich. That's a secret. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Smell of it can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good here. By the way, are you regular here? I don't really have anywhere to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. Give me some of her stories in the evening whispers. Shut up. Wow, that was really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their sort of stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then are you here to write a new piece? 
I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. Uh, this would be... Um, her boyfriend, maybe? Welcome. Hi. Hi. Ugh, I gotta do a voice. I will do it next time. I hope you enjoyed this. It's pretty good so far. I like the writing. And the artwork, too. Nothing too overly complicated, but it looks nice. Alright, bye then.